an all digital future would be a freaking nightmare. Not only you wouldn't own your stuff, but you would have to pay lots of money when it comes to digital purchases. There is so many issues when it comes to an all digital future. There's the issue of YouTube videos. Like if you wanted to have a full series like episodes and seasons, you would have to pay a whole bunch of money for each individual episode and season. And if, if you wanted to purchase them all, it could cost hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Then there's the issue of subscription services, and they basically, the money adds up. Same as streaming, it all adds up. And the issue with subscriptions and streaming is that if, if there's a certain show that you want to binge watch, they can just, boom, take it away from you. Because if the license runs out, they could just, boom, take it away. And you just wasted all that money on that subscription slash or uh, streaming service. I mean, there is just so many issues with this digital future. I mean, basically all physical media could die off. And the thing is, it wouldn't be e any easier for, for anybody that wants to purchase games. If they want to purchase games, they would have to go to subscription services, buy them digitally. And thing is, if you buy a game and you want to take it back, you can't because it's all digital. And thing is, when it comes to digital, you don't fit, you don't own your game. It's basically like you're renting it. All digital is just a complete nightmare. And thing is I remember that one time when PlayStation had a, like a TV service and apparently all the people that owned all that digital stuff that they purchased Sony just boom took it all away all their purchases and just boom took it all away I mean the issue is is that I remember a guy that said you will, you will own nothing and you'll learn to like it. I mean, going all digital, it would be a complete nightmare. Physical media would be gone. All digital stuff would be all digital. You would have to deal with subscription and streaming services. And basically all physical media would be extinct. So that means your only options is streaming, subscriptions, or by digital. It's a complete nightmare and a future that we do not want to have. I mean, if this is the future where you own nothing and it's all digital, I don't know. I'm a person that really loves physical media, and I still plan on keeping my physical media. But if I'm not allowed to own my stuff, then what would be the point? I mean, physical and digital media can co coexist, but these corporations want to control everything. And thing is, if you try, if you try to own a digital thing, they can just take it away. I've even ha heard reports is that the Nintendo DS and consoles like that, like the Wii and 360, they completely shut down their stores. So that means even if you try to get digital media, it's not guaranteed that the stores won't stay up. I mean, I, I don't know. It just sounds insane. I mean, these companies, these companies are out of control and we need to fight back. We need to fight for physical media. No matter what, we need to fight. Because when physical media, because if you think about it, if we don't have physical media, we could lose everything. We could l lose every classic film, show, movie, video game. I mean, basically, we could lose everything whether it's old or new. If you like a favorite show or a movie, we can basically lose everything. 
and digital services is not guaranteed. They could wipe out the system and it would be just gone. And it's not sustainable either. I know this future is kind of dark and stuff, but I'm hoping that they can change this because if we want physical media to thrive, we're just going to have to fight for it. Go on social media, do whatever you need to fight, tell peoples, your family, neighbors that this is happening, and fight for physical media. Anyways, this is Josh signing out.